That is extremely stressful if you only have one month left to land your next product manager job and you want a work visa. If you cannot land a job, you're gonna get kicked out of the country. And it's also going through recessions and very competitive since they're getting nuts and crazy. What would you do in this situation? Today, I'd love to introduce you to our guest speaker who went through the entire stressful job hunting process in a limited time, but she was able to make it happen. And I believe all of you guys can do it as well. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, please go to pmaccelerator.io to learn more. To learn the most effective way to become product manager, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button so you'll be notified every time we turn on a new video every Tuesday. Today we have a special guest. Pei Yun, I'm very, very excited to have her because she went through the same challenges as majority of my audience who has limited time to land a job or people going through a very competitive market during recessions or someone who are recently laid off really need to get job as soon as possible or someone like an immigrant like us who's on like work visa, we need a job ASAP because the work visa only had limited time for you to land a job before you get kicked out of the country. Things are getting very like crazy nowadays. Um, but Peyu had made it happen, so I'm very excited to have her to join us, share her uh, advice with all of you guys. Hi Peyu, how are you? Hi Nancy, very happy to be here. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for joining us. Great. So can you quickly introduce yourself? Um, where you're from, where you live? Like quick introduction. All right. So hello everyone. My name is Peyu. I originally come from China, but now I based in Germany. Uh, in terms of my experience, um, I would say I've dabbled in several different um, fields. Um, I've been in pro project management, um, sales, um, product, in a mix of internships and professional experience. I've also successfully transitioned from a supply chain industry uh, to a completely a different industry, which is a renewable energy. So currently, I'm working in my dream company as a product manager in the largest solar panel inverter in Germany. This is beautiful. Okay, so Pei Ying, let's do this. Given you are in Germany, um, tell me what's going on in Germany, the entire recession, economy, overview. What's the job market look like in Germany right now? Yes, um, I think um, job market in Germany is definitely um, like, it's like keep like uh, get, getting very tight, uh, tightened up um, and the job, it's like very uh, competitive to get and the people are worried about the recession uh, so it's, it's like generally very stressful like if you um uh, you are looking for a new job and you you are definitely gonna compete uh, with many people i see cool so now tell us your story where you get started and what are your challenges landing your pm job and also how do you conquer those challenges i want to hear the whole story because you have like crazy like magical story so please tell us what's going on yeah so basically for my situations so um by the end of last year i sort of like decided to um, quit my previous job um, because of um, i like to try a different industry um, and I sort of like had my eyes on product management for so long and I've uh, also like learned one or two things about how the things being done. So I decided that I want to um, quit my job and uh, go for the job hunting. But by the time I wasn't super aware that it's gonna be that competitive. Um, but I went through like part a uh, job hunting process like two months. It definitely um, had a lot of challenges. I see. And now you already land a job offer, right? So total you spend like three months landing your next job offer. So you start job hunting in January. That's when you quit your original job. You change industry and you didn't know what's very competitive, but you quit your job. And you only have like three months to land your next job in Germany. This is, sounds, sounds crazy. How exactly you made it happen? Yes, Nancy, that's very, very true. Um, it is a very stressful situation because the first I know I'm, I'm under a super like a time pressure to look for a job within the limited time. Second, um, I feeling that uh, the, the, the market is very competitive. So by the time of uh, the second uh, month of my job hunting in February, um, I I apply for hundreds of jobs. Uh, I only get a few interviews, and by the end of the February, I only um, had like a two, um, like you know, the interviews left, and I still 
haven't got like you know an offer yet. So I know that this is something that I really、um, like rethink my process. How should I do better? Because I know I only have like two or three months to get a job. Um, on top of everything, I also feel I'm like、um, mentally, like emotionally, not very well because of all the rejection, because of the time pressures.、Uh, so that that was the the point that I really think like deep deep side down, like what can I do to really get myself out of this?、Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually,、uh, what you said very resonate to me. When I lost my very first job during the two thousand eight recession, it was crazy as well. I literally hurt myself just thinking about oh I'm not having offers and walking on the street and trip myself and then the next day、uh, I went to an interview on crutches because the day before I hurt myself just like out of nowhere just because thinking about how stressful the situation is and an impact the performance of the interview because、I、hurt myself but later on I still landed job offers through that interview when I went to interview on crutches but I understand how you. How you feel? It's like not having offers is a fact, but how you perceive the situation on the high stress, not having offers is actually impacting people's day to day life outside of the job hunting journey as well. This is, I think, this common mental health issues lots of people are facing right now. But thank you for being vulnerable and share with us. And now, so let's do this. So you mentioned. Within two months, you only have a two job opportunity left. You still have no offers. Like freaking stress out, and you decide to change your strategy. So what did you change? How? What exactly happened? Yeah. So、um, that was a very challenging time because、uh, what I've、um, like already left is not really like matching with my expectations. I'm still thinking about to get you know my dream job. You know,、uh, so then I first. So what I've done is two things. Like first. Networking. The second、um, is to repackage your experience to really understand what is your perfect match, so you can be more strategically、uh, go on the job hunting. I see. And you also mentioned that you also change your industry. Um. Now, can you share us specifically how you use networking strategies to start to give you more opportunities? So I assume in the past you only apply for jobs online, just do massive application online. Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. I will say that is what um like most people, including me, that I will do. So originally, especially in the first months、um, of my、um, job hunting,、um, that I. Apply online, like hundreds of jobs. But a- but after like um like you know few rejections and the trials that I- that I find is um simply applying online um doesn't work B- because of the market is very competitive and because of the recruiting process is likely to um to be longer because of the recession. So if you really want to um you know get a response or answers uh you know quick. You need to reutilize、uh, to network with the people、uh, within, for example, within the company that you want to join. And then you start to change the networking strategies. Can you use a real life example? How exactly use a networking strategy actually to land your job? Given at the time you only have like less than a month left. So,、um, tell us how exactly you did it. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, so that. All、oh, uh, start with first I deep diving my experience, so I kind of like know what is my targeted、uh, company, what is my target position. So I go for those. For example, I go on the LinkedIn, I look for companies, and I found a specific company that is really matches with my expectations. And then I go through like their job portals, and I see there are a lot of like、um, openings. So from Also, from my experience, that is a good sign because if the company is keep hiring, which means they are financially sound, so that、yes. also is important factor I need to consider. Awesome,、uh, so、that's very I, smart. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So for this specific company that I found, I'm really、uh, interested about、um, their open roles, but I don't want to like go through the recruiting process because that would take like much longer than I thought, and my situation. Couldn't allow that. So、mm-hmm. what I specifically did is、um, I go through the people page of the, this company, and I literally will go through all the product managers, you know, people because I want to connect with them to you know to hear about、um, their 
like job advice because there are a lot of like open roles and I just simply want to learn like how does it really like you know working for this company. And another thing is I also want to understand if it's possible um, to get a referral to the hiring manager for the role I'm interested. So I initially I reached out, I sent over the friend request to several people and luckily there was one person responded to me. And later on, it turns out um, she was the hiring manager for the role that I'm interested. This so is that's awesome. how I'm able to connect it with her in the first place. And all the things starts from there. Awesome. And you mentioned that your interview, whole interview process only takes like two weeks, right? After you talk to the hiring manager. Yes. This is this is very fast. Okay. So did she do you still need to talk to recruiters once you connect with the hiring manager? And how they make the process so quickly within two weeks before your work visa expires? Oh yes. Um yeah, that was a uh, very exciting like a uh, two weeks, I would say. Um so actually uh, we had uh, like three rounds of interviews. Um, the first two rounds that is really uh, kind of like official interviews, checking my skills. Um, HR only uh, show up in the last round just to confirm some legal questions. Um, but by the time that I uh, feel quite positive because of the previous interviews, um, I had a good uh, positive feedback. So that's how you land a job offer within two weeks that was in your month three it was like right before your visa is about to expire congratulations this is like crazy a right? very inspiring story and you also mentioned that you change industry so tell us more how does the industry shift actually help you or benefit you through the job hunting process is it difficult to change industry during very competitive industry Yes, that's very true that I changed from a small startup to a large companies and in a different industries. Uh, but what I um, came to realize is the product management is so um, it's a very universal profession that is basically can adapt to all the industries. I see. So that's why uh, in your interview, you basically highlight those transferable skills to into a new industry instead of talking about what is differences between small startup and completely different industry, right? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, cool. So. Yes, and now let's pay in congratulations. That's how you actually made it happen in a very short amount of time, very stressful. Um, tell us, in the entire process, as you at the beginning keep on getting rejected and change your job hunting strategy, eventually land a job quickly before your visa expires. What's the most important shift that actually push you to the next level? Yeah, that, that is a very uh, good question. Um, I had a lot of thoughts into that. I think the turning point uh, for me after like all the rejection and you know stress going on, that I'm able to really like super focus on my strategy is because I really changed my mindset, how I perceive this profession. By that, I mean, I start practicing and thinking like a product manager, which can comes into um, different parts um, to thinking like product manager, how uh, you would like position a product, how you can do like go to market strategy, um, what does it mean to be customer centric? So all of that uh, is all about the responsibility of a product manager. But just because I'm able to think like that, that really helps me uh, to strategically prepare for my interviews and rethink my experience in a product-related perspectives. This is great. Cool. And um, now, um, in terms of you change how you think as a product manager, I do I, I do believe this is one of the greatest advice to everybody, especially we are going through very competitive space. I suggest everybody really behave and learn how to be a product manager compared with, hey, let me just say like, fake it until you make it, let me pass the interview. The differences between knowing how to do the job can very easily be told during an interview. If you don't know how exactly think like product manager and it's very hard for you to pass the interview as well. I'm, I'm glad you shipped it. And then actually, I believe that's one of the reasons you learned the job was in two weeks. I just nailed the interview, just landed. That's amazing. Awesome. Um, now, Peyton, let me ask you this question. What advice would you give to other people who want to start their product management career? Yeah, so um, I would say if you are starting new in this field, um, the first step is to, uh, for me, um, is to repackage my past experience. 
I would say Dr. Nancy's um, product accelerator program really helps me uh, to rethink my experience in a product related way. Um, secondly, is to be able to um, connecting with uh, like many people to, uh, in a community to really implement the learning from the product management. And that really helps if you could find uh, to find projects or start your own portfolios. So you can actually execute a lot as you learned. I've actually done um, in the PMA program. This is great. So let's talk about product portfolio. For people who doesn't know what is product portfolio and you should watch this video right here and learn about how to use product portfolio with different kind of free tools about product portfolio. You guys should definitely study and learn it. Having actually inside a Inside program, actually, we have many, many, like 20 different kind of product portfolios. And actually, yours is one of the best I've ever seen. This is like, this is amazing. And I believe that helped you immensely um, to like land your next job. So did you show your product portfolio to the hiring manager during the interview? Yes, definitely. Even from the first meetings, we got to like talk about my portfolio. It's not only because my past experience is very relatable to the role itself, but because I'm able to um, start the project to build my my product from scratch from that way uh, you can demonstrate your very strong experience in the product management this is beautiful this is amazing congrats congrats thank you thank you for thank sharing you. with all of us this is so exciting okay hey guys go to the link in the description we'll have different kind of free product portfolio tools and also projects you can start working on and you definitely need to use this advanced strategy to land your next job fast awesome so thank you for sharing with us Pei Yun, and congratulations and also good luck in your new job this is very very exciting absolutely and um thank you for having me and i'm glad to be of help Awesome. Okay, great. Cool. All right. Hey, guys, if you found this extremely useful, please make sure to hit the like button, share this video with any aspiring product managers, especially we really need to use those amazing free advice so that everybody is able to land their next job faster. And this is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXL.io. I'm going to see you next time. See you guys. Bye.